Hey there everyone and welcome to the Android training. And in the previous movie we have seen how we can install Android Studio on a Mac, but in this movie we are going to work through for the Windows guys. And some of you might be asking, hey you are on the Mac, how are you going to show everything on the Windows? No problem at all, I have just recorded a studio a training there on the Windows platform and this is the entire movie for that, or video for that. And what I'll be showing you is the entire training on the Windows. Now. The reason why I'm not, I haven't recorded actually the audio along with that video is because I wanted to show you a couple of tips and tricks on the way. And the Windows laptop was a little bit noisy because it was a, a laptop of a guy who actually regularly works on designing purposes. So it was heavily used. So again, for the Windows guys, the website is really the same, developer.android.com where you need to go. And in that, you need to click on the develop tab and you will go into the Android studio there. Now again, it will automatically detect whether you are on a Windows or on a Mac. And the Windows version of the Android Studio is a little bit larger in the size, 1.6 GBs, and obviously it takes a little bit of the time there. Now the important part again on the Windows side is as well here. And these are the system requirements that we are really focusing here. So if I, I, I would like to point your attention there that for the Windows users, it's at least minimum three gigabytes of the RAM. But again, I just worked on, on that and even the four gigabytes of the RAM was sounding a little bit slow. But again, that will work for sure, no problem at all. So I recommend at least four gigabytes of the RAM in your system if you are on a Windows. And again, it works really great on Windows 8 and 10, no problem at all. I tried on both of them. It works really like a charm. And of course, everybody recommends that more RAM you will have, it's more gonna be easy because 8 GB really uh, is the point where you want to hit. And of course, two gigabytes of the free space, I hope many of you might be having all of that. Now, one interesting and important thing is this guy at the bottom. And this is actually the Intel Hexum. Uh, I'll show you at the end, which is the problematic point for most of the Windows guys. So uh, let's just uh, forward the movie there. And rest of the things really works like uh, the same. I had uh, already downloaded it. Double click on the file and it will take some time. This is the important part. It is gonna take some uh, time there. And after that, it's really the same. Just click on the next and I have installed everything on the default. Again, it takes a lot of time to extract depending on what kind of RAM and what kind of processor you have. But again, apart from waiting and having the patience, there is not much that you really want to have. And it took me almost 40 to 50 minutes to install and download everything. And again, I was not on the fastest internet on the planet. It was around 1.5 Mbps uh, download speed there on a bandwidth of almost 8 or 9 or 8 or 10 gigabytes there. So not on the fastest side on the world, but yes, that, that just works for me. Okay. And after that... After once the downloading is complete or extracting is complete, uh, it's going to further download a few components. And that is the interesting part here because uh, you can see after clicking and I have done everything on the standard, no customization at all. And thereafter, now important point uh, here again is that make sure this is one is checked. This is super important there because it is going to install and download and install a Hexum which is required for the performance purpose. Now at the time of installing, it's not going to give you any problem there, but when you will run your AVD, the Android virtual device, then it really makes a problem. So go ahead and make sure you check that. We do not need Android virtual device because we'll be downloading the virtual device platforms and everything or setup of these things later on. Same for both Mac and Windows. Uh, right now we don't need that, so you can save a few minutes there. Now, as soon as you click on the next, uh, it will just download a lot of components, including the Hacksim and everything. And then we can just simply wait for the download. It took me a lot of time there, so I'll just fast forward the movie there. And there we go, there we go, unzipping everything and going really fast there. Okay, so this was the most waiting time for me. And now, just in the last one minute of the movie or so, I'll just play there uh, with a regular speed. Now. Right now it says Intel Hexam installed successfully. Now this is the message that you might be looking for if you don't want any trouble for the AVD device there. But again, in case you think that, hey, uh, this was not done successfully or somehow you have doubts there, let me just show you a more interesting thing there. Let me fast forward that quickly. And 
this is the screen we are looking for but in case you uh, just want to double sure open up your file explorer and go into your c drive so there we go we got over into c drive go into android sdk extras and in the intel folder there is our hexam the hardware accelerator execution manager which short forms for the hexam this is one we are looking for and if this guy is not installed the check guy is not installed you can just anyways uh, double click on this file there the application file intel hexam android and double click that and install that apart from them the rest of the things is really smooth now the android studio is much more stable compared to the previous ones all the time when we have to install and download and configure everything into the eclipse but now the thing is really really awesome so that's all what we need now once we have done everything there now what we are looking here is for this screen now from this screen onwards everything on the mac or windows is going to be exactly the same so you do not need to worry about anything not even a single thing and we will configure our avd android virtual device or our first project our hello world everything from this screen onward so this was a quick installation tour along with my commentary on the windows platform and i'll catch you up in the next video